I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when I, the living God, did come to earth as a man, and I walked among men, I say that I demonstrated unto them the kingdom of God, the kingdom of the Father, that they could indeed partake of the same. That is, by believing upon me, by amending and changing their ways, and coming forth in the way that I did intend them to provide. But I say, because men refused to accept my way, then I say they never found the life that the Father intended for them. And I say that I came and I demonstrated that kingdom in power and authority such as they'd never seen. Now I say, so it is even now that I, a living God, desire that the ones who are my servants, my messengers, would demonstrate the power that is found in my kingdom, the authority that is found in my kingdom, that men could look upon the same and behold the glory of who I am. But I say they refuse to obey me, therefore they have no power nor authority, and I say that they do not truly reflect my kingdom at all. For I say there are multitudes who claim that they are of me, that they are serving me, but it is not true. For I say they are serving themselves, they are serving their own comfortable way, and that is where they remain. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is calling for radical revolution amongst the ones who want to be mine in the sense that they truly repent. And they allow me, the living God, to shape them, to mold them, and bring them forth. And they allow me, the living God, to show them the light upon the path that they can be guided each day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, truth, mercy, strength, and hope provided. Now I say this day, be glad when I, a living God, do offer unto you the way of my truth, my light, my mercy, reveal that you can indeed be guided by me. That is, that you can be brought forth in that which I give you day by day, which is the way of my light shown upon the path. For I say, when you will be attentive and respectful of me, then I say you are brought forth in my way. And I say that you are indeed given the blessedness, the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not intend that my people would go in a way that is far from me, would go in a way that will prove to be emptiness, futility, and despair. But I say that I intend that my people would be uplifted and guided, brought forth and directed in me. And I say that I intend that my people would be thankful for the privilege to walk in that which I give them day by day. For I say when the people are truly repentant, then I say they are respecting me. But I say because you are living in times when multitudes have given way to disrespect towards me, for hate, to hatred for my way, what do you see? I say, you see, multitudes who lose out with me, even though they may claim they are mine. For I say, they are no better than the Pharisees of the days when I walked among men. For I say, they have no power nor authority at all. And I say, it is because they are not honoring the way that the Father has intended nor respecting me. Now I say, this day when I, the living God, do call to men to repent, I say, they are meant to obey and do exactly that. That is, they are meant to turn from the wickedness of their own way, from the way that is darkness, evil, and iniquity, and accept my way. For I say, when men are truly repentant and moving each day in the same, then I say, they are uplifted, guided, and directed by me. And I say, they are given the blessedness, the strength, the truth, and the mercy of who I am. I say, this day, be thankful that I, the living God, do purpose, direct, and guide you each and every day. And I say, be thankful that I give you tender mercy, that you are indeed uplifted in me. For I say, when you will indeed abandon yourself unto me and take my way, then yes, you are guided by me. And I say, you are given the hope, the truth, the strength, and the mercy that I provide. For I say, it is a good thing to be believing, to be receiving, and being brought forth in that which I give day by day. And I say, it is a good thing to be respecting me as the one who is able. For I say that I do not intend you to go in any other way than the way of my life. For I say that all other ways will lead to death and damnation of soul. I say this day there are so many who are claiming come this way, come this way, all to the way that is destruction. For I say even though there are many voices gone out into the world, I say that my people are not meant to pay heed unto them. But I say when the ones who claim they are mine do not respect me nor hear my voice, what is it that they hear? I say they hear a multitude of other voices, other power sources that lead them astray. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be led astray out of my way, but I say that I call you to walk uprightly each day in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that I give you the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. I say that I call you to be thankful that I purpose you in that which I give time and again. 
Christ aid is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, truth, mercy, strength, and hope provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, guide, direct, and correct the ones who will pay heed unto me. I say this day that I, the living God, am bringing my wrath, my fury, my indignation upon the nations, upon the peoples who have forgotten me. That is, the ones who have abandoned me to take up other lovers, other gods, God according from my way. And I say in my wrath revealed upon them, many of them will live in fear, intimidation, and darkness day after day. And I say it is because I unleash the very powers of darkness to cruel oppressors upon them. Now I say this day when you consider when men have known of me and nations have respected and honored me, then they abandon such ways to go boring to take up that which I never ordained for them. I say they invite and invoke my wrath to themselves. And I say they are literally calling by their deceit for the disintegration of their lives. And I say it is because they have failed to honor and respect me, they have failed to continue in me. And I say they have brought deterioration to themselves. And I say all the while, while they flex their pecs, so to speak, and think they are mentally and psychologically and socially secure and superior, I say they are fools. For I say they have chosen a way that is far from me, they have chosen a way that is pertaining to evil rather than good. But I say all the while they deceive themselves and think they are doing some great thing. Now I say when a man will want to be deceived, I say this because of the evil of his own heart. And I say when a woman will want to be deceived, I say this because she is choosing an opposition to me. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to choose an opposition, but I say that I call you to walk uprightly each day in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful, to be made glad that I give to you the light day after day. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give to you the light, the truth, the strength, and the mercy day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will indeed guide you forth, that you can be made glad that it is me that you serve. For I say you are not meant to be serving a multitude of other gods, but I say you are meant to be serving me. And yes, you are meant to be thankful that day after day you are guided in my way. But I say when you see the ones who lack in respect and lack to honor and, and obey me, I say they bring trouble to themselves. And I say when you see the nations that are distraught, that are disturbed, moaning and groaning under the oppression, the invasion, of that which is wickedness and evil, why is it so? I say it is because they stopped respecting and honoring me. And I say that they gave more respect and honor to men than they gave to me. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to honor men and dishonor me. But I say that I call you to keep your allegiance, your faithfulness unto me, as the one true God you are meant to serve. For I say, when you will be serving me with gladness, rejoicing in the giving of praise, then I say you are found pleasing me. But I say, when you are pleasing a multitude of other gods, other lovers, you are pleasing lies. That is, you are serving lies, you are serving demons, and you are serving those things that will cause you destruction of soul. I say, this day there are many dark and evil powers looming on the horizon, and I say it is because men have abandoned me. And I say it is me, the living God, who does withdraw my peace, my strength, my safety, because they will not know me. That is, they will not press into my way and walk uprightly in the same. But I say, because their hearts are full of boredom, I say they seek for a multitude of other lovers, other gods, all to their own destruction. I say that I do not call you to be destroyed, I do not call you to be overwhelmed. But I say that I call you to be thankful, to be brought forth, uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. And I say that I call you to know of a surety it is me you can serve. For I say when you will be serving me with gladness, rejoicing, and giving of praise, then I say you are guiding in my way. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, and the mercy, for I am loving God who give to you the same. Now I say this day, do not, do not, do not be abandoned to that which is darkness and iniquity, to that which is evil and wickedness, but I say be abandoned unto me. And I say, be knowing that I will guide you each day in the way of my truth, my life reveal. I say, be thankful that I will direct, correct you, and instruct you, for you are mine. For I say that I am the one who is truth and light and mercy providing. I say this day when men will forget about me, disrespect and dishonor me, then I dishonor them. But I say when men will continue to honor me, then I will honor them with my mercy over their lives.
and I say even when the cruelty of oppressors will seek to overtake them, I will defend my own. But I say when men forget about me, refuse to repent and return to me, then I say it is me, the living God, who will lift my safety over them. That is, I will no longer be the hedge of protection about them, and I say that I will leave them to themselves. That is, in the sense that they invite and invoke my wrath by their rebellion, and it is me, the living God, who will allow the invasion, the overthrow, the oppression of them. And I say it is because they have refused me. That is, they have refused the only sure safety there is in this life. I say this day, be glad that it is me, the living God, you can keep on serving, loving, and seeking to please. And I say, be made glad that I will guide you forth, that you can indeed be given my light upon the path. For I say, if you walk in the light, respect the light, and honor the light, then I say, you are pleasing to me. And I say, you are directed, corrected, and brought forth. I say, this day, let it be me, the living God, who will be unto thee, the author, the finisher, the beginning, and the end. And let it be me, the living God, who will direct thee in the way of life. For I say, that I am the one who is able, I am the one who will give to you such as you need. And I say, that I am the one who guides you forth each day. Now I say, be thankful even now to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me, and be given the truth of who I am. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the truth, the light, the mercy revealed. And it is me, the living God, who will give to you all that you need. Therefore I say, continue in the way that I give, continue in the way that is purposed by me. For I say, in me there is bound the protective mercy that you have need of day by day. But I say, departure from me will bring nothing but my wrath, my fury, and my indignation revealed. For I say, when men will choose any other way than the way that I give, then I say, they will know cruelty over them. And I say, they will know what it is to live under subjectivity to oppressors, subjectivity to those who are full of darkness and iniquity on every hand. But I say, when men will choose against me rather than for me, no, they deserve what they get. I say this day do not choose against me, but continue to serve me each day with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise. That it is me, the living God, you can look to, believe, and trust, for I am well able. And I say be made glad that I purpose, direct, and bring you forth. For when you obey me, then you have my strength and my authority upon thee. And I say that you will be able to declare me in the same. All of ACMTC's publications are free and postpaid, so you have no excuse except an willingness or fear of knowing the truth. Do not write or email ACMTC to obtain the wisdom and counsel of Jesus Christ. Write in your own hands to read and pass out to others as their need of repentance and a warning of God's immediate, impending wrath and judgments upon sinners worldwide. We also have free DVDs of these and earlier presentations of rare and censored, censored by apostate Christianity, that is, truth, and all Bible subjects, as well as unpublicly correct social, cultural, political subjects for you to begin learning and acting upon as soon as possible. Repent for eternal life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.